where we dissect all things related to the royal family, I recently happened to re-watch the moment Harry and Meghan first introduced baby Archie to the public. At first, I found the way they covered up the baby to be overly suspicious. This raises many questions about the authenticity of the event. I also noticed inconsistencies in the details of baby Archie and Harry's actions of just pressing his fingers into the blanket instead of showing the baby's face. These things raise suspicions that Meghan and Harry have something to hide. From the moment I saw the first picture of Archie, I noticed that the baby was overly covered up, unlike the appearances of other members of the royal family such as Kate and William or even Diana. Meghan and Harry seem to be very careful not to reveal baby Archie's face. Why is that? Are they trying to hide something? These actions have created a feeling that they don't want the public to actually see baby Archie, and this has led to many doubts about the truth behind this launch. Compared to Kate and William, or Diana, who always seemed very comfortable and natural when introducing their children, Harry and Meghan showed a clear tension. Meghan seemed constantly uncomfortable, and Harry acted strangely like pressing his fingers into the blanket when asked to show baby Archie's face. Why is there such a big difference? Is this tension a sign that they are hiding something? In the video, I pointed out that there were many inconsistencies in the details about baby Archie. For example, Meghan did not want to use the Queen's doctors, or the announcement about baby Archie was not signed by an official doctor. These details make me question the authenticity of the event. If there is nothing to hide, why is there a need for such strange and inconsistent actions? Another point I noticed is that during the introduction of baby Archie, only Harry was the one holding the baby, while Meghan just stood next to him. I think this may be because Harry is taller than Meghan, and his holding the baby would make it more difficult to see baby Archie's face from the public's perspective. Is this a strategy to hide something? If there was nothing to hide, why couldn't Meghan keep baby Archie and let everyone see his face more clearly? As far as I know in the UK, they cannot legally claim the real Archie as theirs until his adoption is legally complete. Before the paperwork was completed, they were forced to announce the birth of the child. The back looks like an incredibly long pregnancy, not natural. This is also why Meghan had to take her name off the birth certificate. In the UK, the birth mother is initially kept on record until the adoption is completed. Saying Meghan is the biological mother is a complete fraud. Legally, the Harkles must remove her name from the birth certificate. She left the title behind because that title cannot be arrested for fraud. It's also possible to have more than one Duchess of Sussex. So if that happens, they could make the birth mother the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan's ego, selfishness, and utter stupidity were left behind for this massive scam. That's right. There is no reason why Meghan Markle did not introduce Archie on the hospital steps to the global media. This is really suspicious and makes one wonder if there are major events or reasons behind this disagreement. Her actions not only contradicted what the public usually expected from a future queen. She has a big secret that she never wants to reveal to the outside world. If that happens she will be extremely scared. I believe so. Meghan Markle has had major conflicts with her words and actions. Even though she claims to protect her children, she travels around the world without them, leaving them with strangers for long periods of time, really highlights the inconsistencies and strangeness in her behavior. Instead of acting like a mother dedicated to the care and protection of her children, Meghan Markle may give the impression that she is not making an official priority of her evolving role as a mother. Another point that I feel needs to be mentioned is about Meghan's weight. During pregnancy, and even after giving birth, Meghan showed no signs of gaining as much weight as normal pregnant women. Only with the introduction of baby Archie did Meghan appear to have gained weight. This further increases doubts about the authenticity of the event. If Meghan really was pregnant and gave birth to baby Archie, why is there this discrepancy? My friend is a nurse, and she told me, when she saw Meghan pregnant, she knew from the start that Meghan was not pregnant. And she made her observations based on the signs, clinical signs on other channels over the past few years, but postpartum has too many obvious things. If you look at Meghan's belly, she still has a big bump on top near her bust line. It's not possible because when you give birth, the uterus in the first few days will shrink back to its normal size and will be in the lower abdomen where you will see a little obstruction compared to the process I described above. Furthermore, if you look at her face and see how puffy it is, the first thing I think of is the moon face, 
due to corticosteroid use, that's what causes it. I immediately thought she was taking steroids and this was causing the eye bags, which is a typical sign, that baby never moves, you see them move in some way, and when Harry presses down there is some movement in the face, it's 100% a doll, not a real baby, this has always been the crack of the century and continues to this day. If Meghan Markle truly did go through a labor and birth experience, then not sharing the results of that experience with the public is both puzzling and surprising. She always craves public attention, that's why she will not hesitate to ignore all her actions. If so, Meghan will be extremely angry and self-conscious. Okay, everyone knows her personality is terrible, hot-tempered, selfish, stupid, pathetic of the royal family. After giving birth, Megan even tried to hold her belly a few times, like when she pretended to be pregnant with Archie. She had to stop and remind herself that she was no longer pregnant. What a psychopath. I think it was more like she forgot that she didn't have to hold on tight to keep it in place. In case another knee slip incident happened, she's such a bad actress. She can't even be an amateur actress. Megan's acting is too clumsy. During the conversation, Harry mentioned that babies change a lot in their first two weeks. This causes confusion and doubt about Archie's actual age at the time of his debut. If this was a newborn, why was there such a huge change in just two weeks? They can't grow that fast, except in the next two weeks, they will change another baby to be their own. Wow, I really admire that plan of Harry and Meghan's family. Another point of emphasis is on Harry and Meghan's relationship with their family. Meghan does not allow her father, Thomas Markle, to see baby Archie. Harry had never even met him. This creates a feeling that something very strange and unusual is going on. Why do Meghan and Harry keep such a distance from their family? Does this have anything to do with them hiding baby Archie? Meghan rubbed the baby's head, and Harry snuggled into the blanket until his thumbs turned white and the baby didn't move. Stiff as a board, this is a doll. All I know is that those newborn dolls look so real that it's almost unbelievable to see them. Google lifelike dolls or lifelike babies, you will be shocked to see how real they look, and it was clearly a doll, there was no denying it. I think Harry's thumb turned white from the force of the impact, and it looked like he was trying to press a button to activate or control some mechanism, that could make the doll move, but maybe not and it makes it difficult for Harry, so during the whole process, the doll lay almost still, not even startled by the noise, the doll of a modern fake royal couple. My loser friend always thought I was ridiculous for thinking her baby could be a doll until she had her first child. Now she is convinced newborns actually move and make noises even while sleeping, which demonstrates the miraculous development of newborns. So if anyone still doesn't believe it's a doll, meet any newborn baby and touch it. If one or both children exist, the only thing I am absolutely certain of is that Meghan Markle is not their biological mother. The fact that she's a cable TV actress who gave birth twice and gave birth to two mixed-race royal children in complete secrecy is completely impossible. The ambiguity and lack of transparency in information related to Meghan Markle's birth has made many people skeptical and wish for more clarity and transparency from her side. In summary, through the above analysis points, I feel that there are many unclear and suspicious things about Harry and Meghan's introduction of baby Archie, excessive cover-ups, unnatural tension, inconsistent details, and strange relationships with family are all signs that they may be hiding something. These things made me question the authenticity of the event, and created a feeling that something was going very wrong. Okay, I feel this topic is very good and there are many issues to discuss. Don't forget to comment below to let me know your opinion. Support our channel by clicking like and subscribing to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Thank you and goodbye.